Hello, my sexy bestie. It is August 1st as I am recording this video, and this is going to be a collective read. What do we need to know as a collective for August? I have four lovely decks in front of me, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. So if you love the tea and nothing but the tea, stick around, bestie. It does not matter your zodiac sign. And if you see this anytime throughout August, it was meant for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the card. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What does the beautiful human in front of me need to know for August, please, spirit? What can we expect for August? Oh, that one wanted to come out. These are flipped over. Okay. Well, first and foremost, what I'm seeing is you are going to get a reality check in the best way possible. So I think you're going to see clarity, see through the bullshit, and get the Psalms 23 Pharaoh's Awakening. So I prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy, wolves in sheep clothing. Really seeing the people who are not there for you, who have lied to you, given you red flags, have really been kind of a shitty friend, shitty relationship. You're going to see through all this bullshit as well for your money issues are going to be resolved. Things are looking up. Alleluia. Thank the Lord, bestie. Thank you to the money gods, every god out there, because your money issues are coming to an end. I know times were tough, um, but you've had this go-getter, this hustler, this boss babe mentality. You could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, don't have to be, but you're really embodying that. Let me be your provider. Let me focus on my stability, my bag. Where do I want to take things? Because first and foremost, you have a lot of passion coming in. We are in Leo season, which is all about following your desires, having that confidence, that sex appeal, just knowing your worth and standing in your power. Someone's about ready to explode. Why do I feel this way? Undesirable urge. Because you're a whole vibe. They know you're electrifying, that they cannot meet anyone else like you. You are unique. You are one of a kind, my love. And they're willing to come forward and fight for you. King or queen of wands. My passion for you is undesirable. This is that fire sign energy. Again, Leo, Aries, Sag. At the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming, this is your soulmate. So we come together for a purpose. You recognize me. If you are single, then plan on meeting your soulmate. If you are in a relationship, this is confirmation. But it's a leveling up of a relationship because first and foremost, your soul tribe and family is coming in. You deserve better friends. You deserve a better relationship. You're going through this diet change. No, it doesn't have to be in a diet. But this is your morals, your values, everything like that that is changing I would also expect someone to come forward and give you an apology. So well-deserved, well-overdue, gorgeous or handsome. You deserve it. Splitting the deck, what's the final outcome? Yeah, they're about ready to blow up your phone. Call, text, communication arrives. Can we just talk? This person has definitely cried over you and their feelings. We just got out of cancer season. Beginning of August is very moody, very emotional. I think Mars is conjuncting the moon, but definitely water sign energy with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Just make sure that they are leading in and wanting this relationship. If you want to take this to the next level, don't allow them to come in. Just try to woo you, you know, get that bang, bang, shimmy, shimmy. I'm all about it, girly I, or boy, um, boyfriend. I'm going to tell you that I am not going to be a cock block, but I'm just saying, bestie, if you want more than that, don't let them come in, do this wang wang energy, magic stick, throat baby wop, and not give you anything else in return. But if you want to have some spicy times, role play, handcuffs, whips, paddles, and chains is coming your way. So August is going to be fun, flirty, and feisty already. Still, it's hot girl summer, but let's jump to our second deck here, and we will use the Moonology Oracle and see what is up for this lovely August. Well, I was already shuffling, and look, a win-win outcome is forecasted. Balancing of the scales. We love that. Confidence is the key to your success. New Moon and Leo, we just had that. On the 8th of August, we also have um, the peak and kind of ending of the Lionsgate portal. So eights are all about abundance, what you want to welcome in, what you want to focus on. Make sure you're zoned into that. 
Just don't let pride get in your way, bestie. You know, you can be confident and walk the walk and talk the talk, but you know, you don't need to rub it in everyone's face. I feel like there's a fine line and a border between being overconfident and cocky. So just know it's time to take action for you to sit down, focus on you, decide what plan of attack you want to have. This new moon in Aries, once again, it's representing the fire sign energy, going full speed ahead, chasing after your dreams, your ambition. Because conf once again, confidence will be the key to your success. And just know, if you need to pull back, you need to regain your energy. Take time to heal for you, okay? Realize everything you're doing, every decision you make, is it taking you closer to your abundance, your um, financial freedom, your goals that you have in life? Or is it tearing or steering you away from that and just getting blindsided by the material things or things of that nature? Because if you hold your vision and stay focused, stay on the grind, things are going to be in coming your way very soon. Emotions are running high. Like I said, at the beginning of the month, we got a lot of emotions going on. Stay grounded. Keep your peace. Don't allow people to get in your space and control your outcomes and how you're feeling because you're closing out a karmic cycle. So at the end of a tough cycle approaches Capricorn energy. You could have Capricorn placements, but it's really, you know, reaping the benefits of the work that you put in and how far you have came and really realizing that you can love yourself and no one can control your emotions, your actions, your reactions, except for you, bestie, because conclusions are within reach. You're going to go after this. You're going to get what you deserve and just know it's a time to give rather than receive uh, or time to give rather than take. So, you know, make sure you're giving love to those around you. Make sure you're giving love to your pets, those good doggos, those good cats, those exotic pets, you know, love on them, love on your friends, make time for your friends, your family, because it's a time to release negativity and focus on bringing in those positive mindsets, journaling, which I need to get better at, doing your affirmations, really trying to raise your vibe because the final outcome on this, I just split the deck, is a new start is coming, bestie. Nothing else is, nothing is set in stone. So you have the world to manifest it. Take that leap of faith, that fool energy, go after what you want. And just the way we started the reading will end it. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Balancing of the scales, Libra energy, really getting what you deserve, reaping the benefits of um, where you want to take this life and where it's going to take you. Because I think you're more successful than you can ever imagine. And I think you've been just thinking too small. And now you need to think larger, think bigger, think on a better scale because you got the power within you. But if you take aligned action and you walk the walk and talk the talk, bestie, you are gonna be invincible. You are gonna get that financial freedom faster than you could imagine. You're gonna get that love in your life quicker than you could have ever thought. And comment in the comments below, what are you trying to manifest? Is it coming in? And like and subscribe because we're trying to manifest our realities together, bestie. And I'm always here to hype you up and have your back. But let's jump to the um, Beach Time Soul Oracle. And as I was saying, you know, it helps support the channel. We're trying to get monetized over here. And if you don't follow the TikTok, go follow over there. I post a lot more frequently, but I've been trying to balance my time on YouTube and on TikTok. So if you do follow or comment below, it lets me know, is this working out? Is the flow better? We'll see. But what do you need to know, Spirit, for the next month in august what's coming our way as the collective Ooh, that one wanted to pop out real fast okay so yeah i think you're getting out of this energy girl of the snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used make sure you're holding up your boundaries staying focused deciding where you want to take your reality and getting after it you know how i said you're already laid down the foundation it's great that you can think of all these big ideas but you got to work towards it you got to take it because you're ascending, whether you believe it or not, you might have already went through one spiritual awakening, you might be going through your second round. I think we're ascending on everyday basis when we meditate, make the choices we do, and decide where are we taking our lives, and is every decision we make aligning to our manifestations, or is it not? But you're moving into this new phase, this learning, this expansion, this growing, this universal knowledge, really tapping into that and preparing for this union. 
whether or not that's union with yourself, union with financial freedom, romance, something along those lines. But when I talk about um, romance here, I think one cycle of romance is coming to an end. It could be a pattern behavior, triggers, um, being the chaser. It could be really honestly walking away from someone and growing and transforming your life, giving that person no second chances or, you know, deciding to move forward because you have a lot of options coming forward, decisions that you're going to have to make and decide, is this for my highest good? I can want someone, but I don't need someone, bestie. And I think you need to realize that and realize you're going to be okay with you. You know, maybe you need your pets, but any other person, you can always rely on yourself. You will always be truthful to yourself and love on yourself and at the end of the day you have yourself but you're gonna have a lot of dates a lot of options coming forward um planning of dates and this could possibly be over coffee um meeting conversating meeting new people or just having friendships that are gonna blossom so your love life could blossom your friendships could blossom just know you're mirroring so whatever you're putting out into the world that's why affirmations journaling being self-aware rewiring your subconscious is going to be very, 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 very important right now, bestie. So what you're putting out in the world is what you're getting back. And so really raise your vibration until you believe it. Put on those meditations overnight that you can listen to that have those affirmations. Like start doing what you need to do. Like I said, walk the walk and talk the talk because at the bottom of the deck, you have this abundance and this paradise coming in. So abundance to me is health, wealth, prosperity, love, gratitude, anything that raises your vibe and extends into you know the 5D realm that can really catapult you into that new timeline and shift your realities. Getting what you want, gratitude, bliss, and really just stay in focus. That could be finances, love, something along those lines. Because you got paradise coming in. Happiness, joy, love could be travel as well. Um, and really enjoying the moment and living this, you know, whole earth school, as I love to call it, to the fullest potential. You just got to align and follow your passion. And that's where you're going to be most successful. And that's really prominent during Leo season. Having that confidence, taking that risk, and moving forward. But let's go ahead and end with the lovely romance um, Angel's Oracle and see what else we need to go ahead and know and love. What can we expect here, Spirit, for the collective? What can we expect in love? Yes, let go of control issues. Stop trying to control the who, what, when, where, why of a situation. Just go with the flow and really embody in what you need. I said that at 12-12 because as soon as you're staying optimistic about your love life and really putting your mindset and your energy towards that futuristic moment, but also being thankful in the present moment, that's kind of the hard, delicate balance that you need to do. But stay optimistic about it because you're calling in a past life relationship. Yes, this could be an ex. Yeah. Or it could be someone that you haven't met yet that you met in another lifetime. But definitely you have some sort of connection. You've known each other before. This could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek, aka past life lover. And wedding, this situation involves marriage. So I think it's longevity, long term, wherever you want to take this, just know that. And yeah, just let your friends help you. If that's a blind date setting up, if that's just the encouragement you need, a venting session, kiki with the girls, make sure you don't lose track of your friends. But you're going to be swept off your feet with this passion coming in. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Free yourself once again, as I was saying, it's time for you to take back control of your life. Rework those thinkings. You can live in a world where you can inherently think the world is bad, or you can live in a world where you inherently think the world is good because you're calling in your soulmate once again with that honeymoon energy, that paradise, that traveling, that love and confirmation again on the soulmates here, just like we originally had in the beginning, Divine Soulmates Union as well for the passion card coming out um, as well in the beginning. And we're seeing duplication. So this is definitely the energy you are bringing in. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. And, you know, write a lovely affirmation down in the comments below. What do you love to manifest? Mine is money. So I'll share mine right now. Large sums of money come to me quickly and easily and large or er, in increasing quantities on a continuous basis in the best interest of all, then I'm able to spend, save, use, and give joylessly.
attaches a feeling, it attaches an outcome, it makes you present in the moment and you're thankful. Those are kind of the key recipes to success. You know, the secret sauce, you know, if I was Italian, but I'm not. So go ahead, do your girl a favor, subscribe to the YouTube. I would appreciate it. You know, I love doing this and I want to make this my full-time career and give you guys more and more readings. And this just lets me know you appreciate it. You think it's worthy of your time and, you know, become a bestie, follow the TikTok and I'm going to challenge you today to go say 10 affirmations, 10 things you love about yourself that are not physical traits. And, you know, hug your doggos, your cats, your exotic pets for me and love yourself because you are a bad bitch and a bad king. And you got so many great things coming your way. Stand in your power. Reclaim it. It is already your best. It's already yours, besties. I love you so much. And until the next collective Goodbye, Gorge, or Handsome.